All right, so in my first year of college, all I was eating was junk food. My diet usually consisted of ramen noodles, um, just uh, microwavable dinners, and vending machine food. So I started to gain weight eventually. And I'm not the only one, though. According to a researcher, researchers um, from the Osborne University in Alabama, they followed four students for four years, or no, 131 students for four years, and they they found that they gained anywhere from 12 to 37 pounds. They they also gained um, their body, their fat. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> yeah, their body fat increased from 18% to 31%. Okay, so in this speech, I'm going to demonstrate how to cook the chicken breast, how to cook rice, and how to cook the, the vegetables. Alright, so let's get started with the chicken breast. For the chicken breast, I already pre-cut this and everything. So I just brought the skin just to show that this is not the good. This is not good. This has more fat, more trans fat, more calories, more everything. So I just take that off and I quickly check this, the chicken that it doesn't have any bones or anything because I even never know. And I take off the fat that it has right there. I take off the extra thing right there. What I like to do so the chicken can cook evenly and faster is I cut the chicken into thirds like this. Like that. So when you put it on there, it's going to cook evenly. Then once that's done, you season your meat. This is just like a little nor salt and pepper. It's not a lot because I don't really he I don't season the chicken heavily. I use avocado as flavor, and then just gently pat it down on one side. Flip it and do the same thing on the other side. Once this is done, you're going to put it on the grill that's supposed to be preheated and <laughs> <laughs> that has um, olive oil on it, and then you're just going to put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then you just let, don't touch it. Just leave it there, because if you keep flipping it, it's not going to cut. And it's not going to get the grill marks that you want on it. Just leave it on there for like three to five minutes on each side. And then once three minutes pass by, you just flip it and do the same thing. Once that's done, it's important that you let the, the chicken rest, because it's still, it's already done. So what you want to do is just let it rest on a separate separate place, just let it rest for like three to five. All right. So now that the chicken breast is done, it's time to do the rice. And the rice is pretty simple to do. What you want to do is add twice as much water as you're going to add rice. So this is probably a cup of rice. So what you want to do is add two, twi two of that. And then just add... Add some seasoning to that. Just a little bit of 
the nor, and then some salt. Then I just stir that in, mix it all. And wait until the water comes. Once the water is boiled, what I want to do is just put the rice in there. And since this is a rice cooker, once the water starts to boil, this will automatic, automatically switch to warm. It switch to warm. And then just let the, the rice cook for 20 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. Um, what you want, don't want to do with the rice is constantly keep opening it. Because since it is steaming up, you're actually letting out the water that's in there already. So the rice is never going to cook. It's just going to get hard and dry. And you're never going to get cooked rice. So once the rice is done, what you want to do is just put it off to the side, so but disconnect it, so it won't <laughs> so it won't keep cooking. All right. For the steamed vegetables, for the vegetables, we. I'm going to use broccoli, mushroom, and carrots. I want to put some water in there so it can start getting hot while I prepare my vegetables. So for the broccoli, it's pretty easy. All you need to do is just snap them away, stem them off, stem by stem. And then just that. And for the carrots, I already bought carrots that are pre-cut. Uh, the baby, they're known as baby carrots. So what I want to do is first put, once the water has boiled, put the the broccoli and the carrots in, and just let them cook there for like a minute and a half, two minutes. And then in the meanwhile, I'm gonna cut. I'm just gonna quarter the mushrooms. For the mushrooms, these, you're not supposed to wash them because they're made out of water. So what I did was just rub them down with a dry cloth and then just quarter them. And then just put them in once the minute and a half, two minutes has passed by of the cook, cooking the, the carrots and the broccoli. All right, well now, now that the, the broccoli's done, you're pretty much done. All you need to do is just plate your food. All right, you have your chicken, You have your rice. And you have your vegetables. And then I just add the avocado because since I don't have a lot of flavor in my food. So in this speech, I demonstrated how to make chicken dinner. My three steps on making it were how to cook the chicken, how to make the rice, and how to make the vegetables. So now in your first or freshman year, you don't have to run the risk of gaining weight like I did. <laughs>